there are three most commonly used pictures in quantum mechanics. First, is the Schrödinger picture which we introduced in a previous video. In this video we shall discuss the Heisenberg picture, a formulation largely due to Werner Heisenberg. Herein, pictures mean the different ways of attributing the time dependence in quantum mechanics. The physics, most importantly the expectation value of physical observables, would all be the same in these different pictures. The choice in adopting a particular picture has more to do with the convenience of the approach in solving the problem. In this video, we introduce the Heisenberg picture and contrast it with the Schrödinger picture, and formally derive the Heisenberg equation of motion for the position, momentum and general operators. Let's begin with our key quantities. The state vector psi, the x and p basis kets, our wave functions, and operators. In the Schrödinger picture, we assign the time dependence to the psi ket, and the wave functions, while the operators are treated as time independent. On the contrary, in the Heisenberg picture, we shall leave the state vector as time independent, and assign the time dependence to the x and p basis kets. We shall see how this automatically implies an explicit time dependence for the position and momentum operators. First, we write down our Schrödinger equation explicitly, where the time dependence is made explicit in the x bra. The Hamiltonian h is the energy observable, which consists of the kinetic and potential energy. We can factor out the psi ket and write down the Schrödinger equation for the x-bra, which allow us to describe its time evolution. Starting with the Schrödinger equation for x-bra, we seek to prove that the time evolution operation is unitary. We begin by writing the differential in time as a differential change in the x-bra with infinitesimal time step tau. Rearranging the terms, we arrive at the equation in the orange box, expressing the x-bra in a later time step to that in the previous time. We define the operator that generates this infinitesimal time evolution as u. To check if u is unitary, we take the product of u dagger with u. And we can show that this is unity provided that the Hamiltonian h is Hermitian, which it is. Thus the time evolution operator u is unitary. We notice that much of the derivation here are analogous to our discussion of the translator operator in previous video. This is not surprising since time and energy are conjugate operator, just like position and momentum. The momentum is a generator of translation and position. While here, the Hamiltonian is a generator of translation and time. Here, we rewrite the result we have obtained from previous slide, and denote the infinitesimal time evolution operator as u tau. In the second line, we express u tau in an exponential form, since one is the Taylor expansion of the other in the limit when tau is small. Finite time evolution can then be generated through sequential operation of u tau. And the finite time evolution operator u is then given by the exponential minus i h divide by h bar. Multiply by the difference of the final time t with the initial time t0. The property of the unitary operator means that the u dagger equals the u inverse. The time evolution operator allows us to relate the basis x and p bra at later time to that from earlier time as shown. According to the spectral theorem, the position operator at time t can be written as an integral of the outer product of x ket at time t. Multiply by x. The x ket and bra at time t. Can be expressed at an earlier time t0. Using the time evolution operator u. Hence, we obtained an expression that relates the position operator at later time t. To its counterpart at an earlier time t0. Which is a unitary transformation of the position operator. Similar unitary transformation can also be applied to the momentum operator. Hence, the Schrödinger and Heisenberg pictures are related via the time unitary transformation, and any unitary transformation should not affect the expectation value of an observable. Consider here a general observable O which is a function of x and p. Written in the Heisenberg picture, the expectation value of operator O at time t is computed by taking the time evolved O at time t and collapsing it with the time zero state bra and ket as shown. It is straightforward to see that both the Schrödinger and Heisenberg pictures yield the same explicit expression of the expectation value. The difference lies in the state psi vector being evolved in time in the former, while it is the observable operator in the latter. Hence, the physical quantities we compute will be equivalent in these two pictures, which is expected since they are related via a unitary transformation. Since in the Heisenberg picture, it is the operator that describes the time dynamics, we should have a dynamical equation for it. 
called the Heisenberg equation of motion. Let's first write down the expression of the position operator in its spectral decomposition. And then take the time derivative of the position operator. Time derivative of the outer product can be performed using the product rule. The time derivative of the x bra and ket can be replaced by the Hamiltonian as according to the Schrödinger equation we showed a few slides earlier. Rearranging the terms will allow us to write the time derivative of the x operator as commutator of x with the Hamiltonian h. This equation is known as the Heisenberg equation of motion. Analogous equations can also be derived for the momentum operator. To summarize, we have derived the Heisenberg equation of motion for the x and p operators. In a previous video in the same playlist, we have also derived the Heisenberg commutator relations. Replacing the commutators in the Heisenberg equation of motion with these commutator relations then allows us to arrive at the Hamilton equation of motion, which says that the time derivative of the position operator is the differential of the Hamiltonian with respect to the momentum operator, and that the time derivative of the momentum operator is the differential of the Hamiltonian with respect to the position operator. Lastly, I will remark that sometimes, the operator O can also contain an explicit time dependence. The Heisenberg equation of motion in this case will include another term that describes the parametric time dependence as shown. Lastly, let me also make a quick remark about the density operator. Recall that the density operator can be expressed as the sum of outer products of the eigenstates of the state. However, the eigenstates in the Heisenberg picture are time independent, thus we expect that the total time derivative of the density operator to be zero in the Heisenberg picture. From the Heisenberg equation of motion for any operators, which we can also apply to the density operator, we arrive at the familiar von Neumann equation we derived in a previous video. In the next video, we shall discuss the so-called interaction or Dirac picture, which then concludes the discussion of the three well-known quantum pictures. Stay tuned, and subscribe, so you will be notified of our future episodes. Join our Free Science Academy Discord channel to discuss science and technology. High school students are welcome to join and post your questions, we will answer them during our free time.